Travelers and fuel suppliers across the United States braced for higher prices and shortages ahead of the Labor Day holiday weekend as the country's biggest fuel pipelines and refineries curb operations after Hurricane Harvey. You know, those shortages that uh, evidently we were not going to have. Anyway, just six days after Harvey slammed into the heart of the U.S. energy industry in Texas, the effects are being felt not just in Houston, but also in Chicago and New York, and prices at the pump nationwide have hit a high for the year. Supply shortages have developed even though there are nearly a quarter of a billion barrels of gasoline stockpiled in the United States, but much of it is held in places where it cannot be accessed due to massive floods or too far away from the places it is needed. Some of it is unfinished, meaning it needs to be blended before it can go to gas stations. Now, Harvey has highlighted another weakness in the system. Pipeline terminals typically only have a five-day supply and storage to load into the lines. Some of the biggest pipelines in the United States supplying the Northeast Market and the Chicago area have already shut down or reduced operations because they have no fuel to pump. Gasoline is very much a just-in-time fuel for as many, many million barrels as they think we have, said Patrick DeHaan, petroleum analyst at Gas Buddy. Sure, they are somewhere, but they still have to be mixed and blended together. At least two East Coast refiners, including Philadelphia Energy Solutions and Irving Oil, have already run out of gasoline for immediate delivery as they have rushed to send supplies to the U.S. Southeast, Caribbean, Mexico, and South America to offset the lack of exports since Harvey, sources said. Maybe they should be sending those exports to the Caribbean, Mexico, and South America. Of course, you know, that's my simple solution, but I'm sure there's much more involved. Anyway, wholesale gasoline and jet fuel prices have soared at least four. Well, it soared as at least 4.4 million barrels per day. Excuse me, folks. I didn't know what I was looking at. A refining capacity, or nearly 24 percent of total U.S. capacity, has been closed due to the record rains. Now, since Friday, my cost has gone up 30 cents per gallon, said Ben Little, owner of independent station Ben Little Pure in the middle of Nashville. Now, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency issued fuel waivers in 38 states and Washington, D.C. to ease concerns of supply shortages. Now, the Energy Department released 500,000 barrels of crude from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve on Thursday, but the market is not short of crude, which makes up the majority of the country's strategic stockpiles. All right, so um, I know I thought I'd learned that there weren't going to be any shortages or uh, issues because of uh, the hurricane affecting gasoline around the country, but according to what we see here, there there should be, there will be um, something to be aware of, folks, if you're traveling over this holiday weekend, uh, that you may end up uh, finding stations that don't have fuel, or you may be paying an exorbitant price, or well, we already are paying an exorbitant price. But heads up, be aware of this. I will leave you a link to this, and when it comes to links, please check out the link to my new fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer story. It's about America right now. Um, and that link is down in the uh, description area where it says plugs down there below the video. There's also a link to some of my music. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, folks. I do appreciate you. And no matter what, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.